after tonight's game, Jarrell and I are leading the, uh, the NBA most important scoring point per game, and which means Jarrell and I are the most clutch player in the league right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, it means a great deal knowing that we have trust to play uh, our roles out there. Uh, you know, quarter to quarter, uh, Jock has all the uh, rotations. So I think we, we all, as, as teammates, just want to be aggressive with our minutes out there. But for me specifically, when that fourth quarter hits, uh, it's winning time. Uh, and that's all I really know. And when I'm out there with that group uh, to start the fourth, I know Kay's resting a little bit. So I uh, just got to... You know, raise my aggression level and raise my efficiency up. And uh, I'm grateful to have the trust of my teammates and the coaching staff. This guy, just want to go back to your effort again, not only yourself individually, but the team when it comes to the defense. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we, we have that uh, kind of switch on, in the third and fourth quarter where we, we start really leaning in on our schematic adjustments. Uh, on the defensive end, uh, our effort raises, and we just start making the right basketball plays. That first half was kind of weird. It was kind of funky. Uh, they got it going a little bit. I ended up playing the whole entire first quarter, so our minutes got, um, you know, a little um, uh, dragged out. You know, guys didn't have their normal minutes. I usually come out with three minutes left to go in the first or something like that. So, um, you know, we just had to play the play the minutes with the guys that we have, and we trust them, and, uh, and we went out there and. Uh, in the second half and do what we had to do. How would you compare where it's at right now compared to where it was at even a month ago, six weeks ago? I think we just taking it day by day. Day by day. What was, I'm, I apologize if you were asked your vantage point on the last play. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm glad we had enough awareness as a team to, to know that uh, DeJounte was coming up. It looked like he was trying to get his rhythm. Uh, I ended up being on him. He turned me around somehow on that crossover. Um, he ended up missing the shot. Uh, but I, I feel like we put ourselves in that position down the stretch. Uh, we should have closed him out. Uh, I feel like with four minutes, three minutes left to go. But they kept uh, you know, coming at us. And when we're going on the road against these teams and everybody wants to beat us, then we, that's something to expect. Uh, so we, we're glad that we got a chance to close this out and best reps are game reps. As you look back at the last 10 games since you guys have been 10 straight, what do you think the single biggest key has been over this last stretch of games? Uh, I don't know if it's a single key. I, I just think it's a collective effort uh, you know, for all of us to really buy into what we have going on here, and that's the big picture. Uh, we're not trying to rush it. We're not trying to... Uh, plan out our future too far ahead. Uh, just trying to take it day by day, and uh, you know when we prepare, I think that's really the the strength of our team is is when we're locking in with one another before the game and, and just going out there and executing. Ultimately, I mean that that buying obviously has to come individually, right? Every individual in there has to agree to do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, how difficult is that? I mean, from a coach, from a coaching perspective, to get this many guys to buy in, to sacrifice for the greater. Uh, I think we just put it in perspective. I, I know I do individually of just, uh, you know, telling the guys that on a consistent basis, I don't take their talent for granted. You know, as much as we've been through here in Brooklyn, uh, you know, some of the teammate changes, uh, just, just some of the things that we've dealt with as an organization, I, I just think um, when we have that collective trust of everybody buying into the big picture and, um, you know, we can look down the line and, and see we have talented guys and that'll get you so far. Um, but when you have guys willing to sacrifice and do the little things and um, put their body on the line, like Katie jumping, you know, getting that block and, and doing little things like that to start the third quarter, I mean, that makes a big difference in the flow of the game. And, um, you know, whether we take a one point lead, three point lead going into the fourth, that matters. Uh, so these little details that we're just aware of, um, game to game. I just think that we're doing a great job of um, talking and communicating when we come to the bench. Jock holding us accountable. Uh, him coming in as a as a head coach and and really um, putting his own DNA on it, and us just following the game plan. Consider see a collectors and other small minority 
Uh, well, number one, I'm in no rush to make any business decisions right now. Um, you know, uh, I've been uh, blessed enough to be drafted at 19 into a league that's the best in the world. Um, and I've been uh, plastered in an international uh, marketplace, whether it be in China or whether it be in Australia where I was born or whether it be in Africa. You know, I've built so many uh, tribal relationships around the world. Uh, so it, I just don't, I just want to take my time in, in terms of see a collective, a side collective, great brand, great brothers, great operation team behind the scenes. Um, but again, I'm, I'm looking for a home where we can build um, a, a huge marketplace and I can have some ownership. And um, that takes time to build. So I'm willing to stay patient, but work with people that are willing to work with me. And so I collect has been a great um, brand to converse with. And, um, you know, I just don't want to settle with one. I think I just want to keep my options open and look for ownership and enjoy the free agency for a little bit. You know, it's been a long time coming. Um, and I think there are a lot of details that are going to come out in the future about what was actually going on. And I think once my platform is actually created on when I can do that, then we'll share that. But um, shout out to CIA Collective, CIA Collective, and everybody that's been recruiting me during this process. I'm appreciative, but I'm definitely not going to go back into a similar contract that I was in um, or any type of situation or circumstance that I was in similar to what I was at um, at the other brand. So. Thanks, Scott. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, sir.